Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss Edwardian Parrot in History of English Literature. As I have covered all the ages before that and we have covered Victorian age and after the death of Queen Victoria, Edward the Seventh became the King of England and this age is known as Edwardian period and it lasts from 1901 to 1914. So let's see, we'll discuss major events, poetry, literature of this age. So this is named after King Edward the Seven. So Edwardian period is sometimes imagined as a romantic golden age of long summer afternoons and garden parties basking in the suns and this reception was created in 1920s and later by those who remember the Edwardian age with nostalgia. The Edwardian age was also seen as mediocre period of pleasure between great achievements of preceding Victorian age and catastrophe of the following war. So basically it's talk about upcoming war world war one 1914 to 18 we'll see so edwardian society this period covered the reign of king edward the seventh and this era had significant shift in politics great social changes and solidification of power and luxury of ruling elite class wealth was abandoned and nearly income tax free society was no longer a small exclusive circle confined to those of aristocratic birth the art produced genius and modern moments and there were advancement in technology in science as well and growing interest in socialism and uh, there was issue of women's suffrage as a result of rapid industrialization industrial revolution was there as we see so what actually happens it talk about women's suffrage what it is in 1903 emmeline and her daughter they founded the women's social and political union and all the women following this union are known as suffrage so we'll see edwardian literature now so Edward, this era reflected the restless and ambiguous mean vague unclearness of new millennia new era that is coming and uh, some playwrights mainly include gb shaw mean that is george bernard shaw and uh, his time the political organization armaments and war is coming world war one and literary and poetic moments such as imagism futurism and lost generation was there so we'll see imagism a new literary technique that is founded by ezra pound and we'll discuss here so imagism futurism and last generation imagism describes a moment in american and british poetry beginning in 1910 that borrow from haiku and free verse means that that are styles of writing you know poetry and this imagism was founded by ezra pound and uh, futurism it was born in europe and advocated the abandonment of conventional syntax and use of images drawn from age of technology and it was initiated in italian by a poet writer italian filippo tomaso and the lost generation the lost generation refers to expatriate american writers including ernest hemingway and francis scott and who came into prominence after world war one and those works reflected a deep disillusionment with their society so these are also known as war writers because these writers they participated in world war one 1914 and major authors and works of this period will see the prominent name is joseph conrad he was a polish british writer regarded as one of the greatest novelists of this age 
He was a master of prose style who brought a non-English sensibility into English literature. And he wrote stories. We'll see his story as I have covered The Sacred Sharer by Joseph Conrad, short story. It's a and he also wrote novels depict trial of human spirit and uh, his novella the heart of darkness is very famous and lord jim that is another novel by joseph conrad and another important figure is hg wells herbert george well and he was an english writer novelist short story writer and uh, his social commentary satire biography autobiography and including his two books on recreational war games and science fiction novels he wrote and uh, he was also known as father of science fiction and the novel see the war of worlds a famous work by him is a science fiction novel by hg wells and another important figure is E.M. Forrester, Edward Morgan Forrester, full form goes like that. And he was English novelist, short story writer. His short story include The Other Side of the H. And he was also essayist and libertist as well. And his work include A Room with a View novel, which is about a young woman in restrained culture of Edwardian England and Passage to India a novel by A. M. Forrester against the backdrop of British Raj and Indian independent movement in 1920s and another important figure G. B. Shaw as we see in initial stage he was an Irish playwright critic polemicist and political activist and his influence on western theater culture and political extended from adding ideas to his death and beyond and his works include men and superman pygmalion and many more and now we'll see ac bradley full form is andrew castle bradley he was an english literary scholar best remember for his work on shakespeare so he just uh, wrote on works of shakespeare shakespearean tragedy it's a designation given to most tragedies written by playwright shakespeare because they are based on real figures of the history of england and they were classified as histories in the first folio and several hundreds later after shakespeare's death scholars such as fs boss also coined a uh, fifth category the problem play for play that do not fit neatly into a single classification because of their subject matter setting and ending this classification of certain shakespeare or uh, shakespearean plays are still debated among scholars so there's about edwardian age it's a very short period in english literature Hope you understand the notes are in the description. Thank you for watching.